Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. I am out and about today, so welcome to the car. And today, as, as every Thursday I have been doing, we're going to talk about a weekly wisdom card draw. We're going to do a weekly wisdom card draw from the companion card deck to my book, Running the World, Marathon Memoirs from the Seven Continents. So this is something that I started over a year ago, creating, taking photos from the book and then writing inspirational messages to go along with them. They are still in PowerPoint form, but will eventually become an actual card deck that you can draw a card out of and find an inspirational message for the day. In, in the meantime, I am drawing one each week to share with you and hopefully give you some inspiration to live a more conscious, powerful and meaningful life. So with that, I will go ahead and invite you to arrive in this moment. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Closing your eyes if that feels good. Letting your breath out. Coming into this space and just letting it be whatever it wants to be for you. Maybe you keep your eyes closed, keep focusing on your breath while I will go ahead and shuffle the cards. And I keep my eyes closed when I shuffle just to really ask the universe what wants to be shared with our group today. Quick check. All right, cool. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna bring the deck actually back to my heart. Pause once more and say, what energy will be of highest service for all of us today. What energy will help each of us go about our days in a more conscious way, being of highest service to humanity and our earth? Hmm. All right. And again, keeping that question in mind, shuffling the cards. What energy will most help us today? Give me a quick cut. And here we go. Here we have pulled out. Mmm, oh, I love this one. Awe. All right, and you can see our picture here is of a tiny little zodiac, little inflatable boat in Antarctica looking at an iceberg in awe. So. So let's so I'm going to read you the card message and then share what uh, what comes up for me. Awe. When was the last time you were struck with awe? A moment ago? I was. A day? A week? A month? A year? Longer? What makes you giddy with excitement? What sparks your awe response? There is wonder all around us every day the sunrise, the kindness of strangers, the love of a friend, the synchronicity of the universe. As we allow the universe to impress us in more and more moments, as we allow more wonder and awe into our lives, the richer and more joyful our lives become. That energy radiates into the world, lifting everyone up. Feel the preciousness of each moment. Don't wait for stunning icebergs at the ends of the earth to allow yourself to experience awe. Finding awe in the everyday and in who you are gives life a whole new level of meaning and fulfillment. Hmm. Let's let that sit for a moment. Once again, I'll, I'll show you the picture here. You can see it. Yeah. Awesome. <sighs> Well, I'm always struck with awe whenever I draw these cards because I feel like the message is always timely. And just the, the preciousness of each moment, I was actually just on a call with someone guiding me through some meditations and it was really amazing. And it reminded me again, how much spaciousness we can create for ourselves in a few moments and how much we can come into contact with ourselves and find the answers within because we are so kind of constantly on the lookout for answers outside of ourselves and finding that time to come into more spaciousness and communion with yourself in you know, any moment is quite awe-inspiring in fact 
and just noticing awe in the blades of grass or the leaves of a tree or in anything that, you know, the smile of a child, whatever it is that lights you up, can allow us to really bring more fulfillment and joy into the daily life. Instead of just allow, instead of focusing on all the things that everyone on the outside would tell us that we need to focus on, right? Uh, so, so imagine what's going to bring more peace to yourself. What's going to bring more peace to the world? And you being at peace actually does bring more peace to the world. You being in your awe and allowing yourself to experience awe brings more peace to the world. Mm. So as, as I said in the message, you don't need to wait for those, a big vacation or an iceberg in Antarctica or things that we typically maybe think of that are awe inspiring. You know, we, we don't have to sort of hang on, on waiting for those moments. Those moments are always here, always available in every single moment in taking a breath. How filled with awe can you be that you can take a breath and allow that to fill you with peace and joy and wonder? Hmm. So I hope you allow yourself to go through the day to experience awe, to experience wonder in every moment and see how that impacts your day. See at the end of the day, if you can't look back and, and say, wow, that was a pretty good day. Right? because I allowed myself to experience awe. Mm. I hope you enjoy that. Go find that, I uh, hope you find it inspiring, exciting. Once again, I'll show you the picture here. And I will see you again next week for our next card draw. In the meantime, have an awe-filled week. Have an awe-filled life. Let's take one more deep breath together. Let it out. Again, thank you for joining me in this project. I'm excited to be here with you. Have an amazing day. Thank you.